something I was doing when I noticed Samsung's interruption of drag the lock icon to unlock. I was making a YouTube video about racing. And this thing suddenly came off the, onto the screen and um, the screen completely turns black for all practical purposes. There we go. Drag the lock icon. Bring it up again. I have no. I can't bring up the Android buttons. My video is now ruined about racing. This video is going to be how to change the settings to the drag the lock icon to unlock feature or completely eliminate it. So how about I drag that, move that? We're gonna stop this race. Go out of this now. Let's go take a look in here. We're in the settings app for the your device, or my device in this case. I'm going to look up something. Because this is the location where you can adjust the setting. Game Booster. It doesn't find anything related to it in settings. Nothing at all. You have to get into the Game Booster app to be able to adjust the blackout feature that comes up after a set period of time. So this isn't going to do us any good being in settings. I'm going to leave settings now. Remove that from reasons. How about we go back into the game? I'm in any game. You could be in this game. This is Rush Rally 3. It's a good racing game. But it's not about Rush Rally 3. How do we get into the game booster? Well, one, we've got to be in any game you've got on your device. And, let's go. I should have went in that fed in settings there for a moment. We'll go back to settings. You have to have a certain feature set in settings. There are two options usually with settings. Your navigation buttons can be featured in either of two ways, with buttons or swipe gestures. If you've got swipe gestures, change it from buttons to adjust this. You can change it back after you're done. It will remember the settings you've gone to. With swipe gestures, it's not easy to do this. It may not be possible to do this. I do it with navigation buttons set to buttons or navigation bar set to buttons as you can see they're on the bottom of the screen now there's a reason for this back into our game here we go i'll swipe up from the bottom of the screen you notice down the bottom of the screen the navigation buttons were there momentarily i'll swipe up again so you can see this see it. the three navigation buttons there's a symbol way off to the left you know what that is that how to enter the game booster. That's the icon for the game booster. I found no other option. There, see the title, game booster? It's come up. We can now get into the game booster. Now that we're into the game booster, we want to go into settings. There's So right after, on the same line, it says game booster. There's a button way, way off the cog. We touch the cog, the settings for it. We're now in Game Booster settings, it says at the top here. Okay, what are we looking for to get rid of that dreaded screen? Here it is. Second line down. Auto Screen Lock. And it says three minutes out underneath it. So let's tap that. We now have options in here. We've got from 15 seconds to 10 minutes. And it's usually, um, when I got this device, it was default set to 3. This is a Samsung Galaxy Tab S6. If your device may have a different setting, you can set it to a maximum of 10 minutes, which might do you some good. Or you could set it to some other time if you'd like. However, if you hit none, you completely disable the feature from ever coming up again. It will not ruin your videos when you're doing a replay and not touching the screen, say, for 10 minutes or more. 
the screen may pop out if you don't have that. Also adjust it, but your device or your device could turn off or some such, but you'll have to adjust that separately. Now, let's hit the recent button. And now you can see, this is the only way you know you knew you were in Game Booster. You can see it in recents. That's it. Samsung did a very good job of hiding the ability to adjust, make those adjustments or any adjustments you can with the Game Booster. So I hope that helps you out if you want to go into your Game Booster. I'm going to start this video back up and we'll let it run for a bit. So if you're having problems with the drag the lock icon on your Samsung device, this could definitely help you out. If you're having that trouble on other devices, look for these features as well. So I'm going to call out a video and hope it helps you out.